speed. You know, a lot of people were giving him giving him a hard time saying, like, yeah, you only won because it was Leroy. But everyone <laughs> else was using Leroy, too. That's right. So you have to be a unique one, you know, to be able to win that. And it's also worth noting that Book has brought out, believe it or not, ladies and gentlemen, Julia every now and then, you know, in smaller scale tournaments mm -hmm. or sometimes, you know, when he's on stream and, uh, or whatnot. So he does have a little bit of knowledge, maybe even more than we expect, uh, you know, out of the Julia matchups. You know, that's, that's something. Not to mention uh, the Leroy. What if it's a surprise? But here we are, ladies and gentlemen. This is where it all begins. Hovering over it, and there, John Ding playing with our emotions. Oh my gosh. Mark. Unexpected. Uh, I, okay. Okay, okay. Unexpected. He, he definitely has a game plan going to this one. We saw him use Eddie at Evo. He definitely studied those matchups, and he oh did very well, well in those matchups. I mean, he might not have won all those matchups, but he was definitely prepared. I wonder what he has prepared for Book here, because again, this is a matchup that Book has traditionally won. But the crowd is getting hyped. <laughs> We're about to go in Thailand versus Korea. Starting it off, this is our top eight. Here we go. And answering Duomo de Syria here, ladies and gentlemen, fairly big. Both these characters and players know each other very well. The matchup can really go either way here. So let's start, the, let's start this off, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go. Yeah, I like the pick here again. Already starting off with the Eddie. One of the things, the hallmarks of Eddie is he has an amazing backdash motion. And an upside of Jin. Oh, wow. Immediately starting things off, I was about to say that Jin's advantage is, of course, being a very humble character. But John Ding not, not actually... Holding anything back here and gets more than half life lead. 40 seconds left on the clock. John Ding looking really healthy here, Mark. Oh, and a left axing, but watches the combo. Yeah, that's unfortunate. And again with another side no. that people score. Not like this. Yeah. Uh, definitely. Able to clean Definitely the play. like that. Very strong first round there from John Ding. Book, man, he dropped that combo early on. He could have got that momentum back. But again, you can't let that face you. You got to keep going. And it's very interesting, you know, a lot of players usually uh, just hold their positions. You know, they don't want to go downstairs here in Duomo de Serio simply because it is a very big stage downstairs. But look at this book returning the favor with a lot of damage. And oh my goodness, this could be the end for John Ding in this round. There we go. Seven golden letters of perfect here from Book. Tying it up on rounds. Let's see how he can continue with this momentum. Ooh. But a big counter hit. Here comes John Ding. And he's already playing much differently than we've seen in Eddie's past using different combos, going for wall carry. Oh, wow, very brave as well of Book there to actually release that stature kick. That is actually very, very punishable. Oh wow, a little too late on the hit confirmed, but John Ding might just get this again. Here we go. Round number three goes to John Ding. And two of those elbows, Markman, have already given John Ding so much torque. Down 3-3, three, three. where do you see that, Mark? Yeah, he wasn't ready for it. Definitely caught me off guard as well, but nice combo. It's been so momentum-based between these two. John Ding back and forth, book back and forth. But now John Ding seemingly having the advantage, but he ducks under the snap back 3-4. Awesome patience right here from Book, ladies and gentlemen, pushing him a little bit away, gives some room, and we know that Jin does have a slight disadvantage when it comes to range. However, we know that Eddie is a character that cannot sidestep. So let's see if Book has a game plan here to contain John Ding. Oh, the no, oh, never mind. This should be able to close it out. The wall and the finish. Here comes John Ding, first game. With authority. It was combo after combo for John Ding. It's very unusual, ladies and gentlemen, that people are actually rooting for Eddie. Granted that this character, of course, is not really that user-friendly, especially if you're starting Tekken. But John Ding puts it to good work. Awesome stuff there from John Ding. It's crazy, too. You think of the dynamic, too. Mm -hmm. Eddie, probably a character that terrorizes the beginners that try to get into the game. But at the highest level, you barely see him. That's right. No one, one of the few Eddie masters that we see in, in high-level competition. This is awesome. I was about to say that no one would actually dare, if, if, you know, if not brave enough, to actually pick up Eddie, especially against a character like Jin, who's super well-rounded. Now, Book opts to stay with Jin, and interestingly enough, he goes to Mishima Dojo, where there is nothing to break. There are no breakable walls, balconies, or floors. It's just a very, very subtle stage, just, just a square, basically. So let's see if this pick will actually favor Book. All right, I mean, it's going to have to. He's going to have to tie it up. Otherwise, he's going to be going into the loser bracket, junting with that momentum. He has been on fire thus far. Let's see if he's able to continue. Down 34. What's he going to do? How is he going to keep this pressure? Now we're starting to see the forward forwards from Book trying to there keep it. There it is. Oh my gosh, he was locked and loaded, ready to go. And I hate being right all the time as well, Markman, in that sense, because that's a very risky move from a Jin to actually release the stature kick. But never mind, I have a hop kick of my own. And since you cannot step and you're ducking all the time as an Eddie, 
Oh my gosh, a slippery kick went high risk. High reward right there is John Ding taking round number one again. Can I just say, Mark, that John Ding has been Mr. First Blood throughout this entire set. He wants all the smoke. He wants all the blood, and he's doing Boom. so well. He has hit every single move that Eddie has in the move list so far. This is crazy. Nice forward, 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 keeping him there. Hot plate special. Now, wow! here comes the reflexes. Buck with the parry into the can-can kicks. And, and that is enough. Oh, here, and the wall savage sword. Look at that. Life lead gone. If you are hearing the sounds of what seems to be thunder, ladies and gentlemen, that is not the game. That is the audience right here in Rev Major because everybody goes along with the hits. 30 seconds left on the clock and Jun Ding throbbing red with his rage. And Book, oh my goodness, a little too slow on the back to one. Oh, oh slipper kicks God. again. That's not bad. He's still alive, but one mix up could do it here. What's he going to do? Sides, oh, back one plus two again. A big risk because, again, if that got him blocked, he would have died right there. That is crazy. Good call from Book. You know, he, he just went simple right there. John Ding about to touch the ear of Jin with that back one plus two. 55 seconds on the clock. And now Book finally having a slight lead already. Good one, two, three attempt. And no pickup there for a Jin. Yeah, it does recover a little bit faster there from any other of the relaxed transitions. So great scout there from John Ding testing Book here. And look at this, very smart of Book. Actually, he is distancing himself from John Ding. Granted, how he's been receiving a lot of combos and costing him the rounds. He has to be slightly careful here, ladies and gentlemen. Oh. What a block right here from Book, sniffing it out. Gets a combo in. And the follow-up here, the wall pressure. This is where it's going to be decided. He's going to have to be very careful. Back to the wall. He can't really sidestep either, but we're doing his best to maneuver away from there. Good satellite moon attempt right there from John Ding, but what a block by Book. Off of the slippery kicks, 13 seconds left on the clock. Jun Ding is in dire trouble here, folks. Nice box, oh my gosh! The hit confirm of Book is paying off and getting round number three. He now has the lead in this game, Markman. Yeah, I like what Jun Ding is doing there. He knew a reaction was gonna come, but unfortunately that down forward one was able to beat him out. Oh, he went for the launch, he missed it! That was launcher after launcher, ladies and gentlemen. And both players failed to capitalize, but does get a punish is John Ding. Look at this, so brave! And he manages to get in the head of John Ding here, ladies and gentlemen. Back to one to the wall. Laser, Geyser, Ender, get that momentum once for a wake up. Let's see what he does. He went for the wall standing one, ended up putting on the brakes. He's gonna have to be careful here. Goes for the mid. Oh boy, oh, and a simple forward thrust kick. The forward for the, AKA the God kick of Jin just getting the job done, ladies and gentlemen. Now Book and Jun Ding, one win apiece, and we are just getting started. Big decision coming up. What do you do here? Do you switch characters? Do you go just for the stage pick? Because that could have gone either way. Oh. But it's all about momentum here. We are the character select screen. We know Jun Ding has options. He uses Julia. Julia is the character that we see most of the time, that we've seen most of the tournament. But he's hovering Lucky Chloe. The crowd is going oh, crazy. No. And I don't think he should do it. There we go. A bit of a tease here, ladies and gentlemen, from Jun Ding. He knows that the Filipino crowd is behind him. Not to mention that it is Lucky Chloe, one of the most underrated characters in the game. He's hovering and locks it in. Lucky Chloe. My goodness, Mark. Wow. Who would have thought today that we are going to see a Lucky Chloe, not to mention on the winner side of top eight? He is putting it all on the line here. This is for favorable position on the winner side. And I gotta say, Jun Ding is such a crowd pleaser. He can definitely hear the crowd. Here we he go. Listens. The and dojo. Ironically, we're landing right here again, ladies and gentlemen. Mishima Dojo. And it's worth noting that Lucky Chloe did receive some fairly good buffs in this season, you know. So maybe Jun Ding is banking in on it. As you mentioned earlier, oh, he may have a plan, you know. He probably calculated the risks of going into this with a Lucky Chloe. And ladies and gentlemen, the Filipino crowd is 100% behind Jun Ding on this one. Oh my gosh! You don't see that very, you know, that a lot of hop kicks from Jin. I mean, Jin, but, is, wow. Jin is not a hop kick specialist. Uh, but hey, anything you can do, I might be able to do better. Let's see if Junting's gonna be able to throw that same respect back. Running attack. And follow. this is only a best two out of three as well, Mark. So John Ding is stuck with this. And yeah. this is his last chance as well. And the same goes for Book. Oh my gosh. He caught him moving. Able to take that opening round. The, the pick is paying off so far. There it is, hook fist for hook fist. Oh wow, fooled me once. <laughs> Shame on you, but Book tries it. Oh, but drops the combo. Here we go. Tries to go for the gut kick. What a low parry from Book, sniffing it from a mile away. Here we go, pushing towards the wall. Not gonna get it because sidewall stun. But here comes Jun Ding. Oh, wow. Back one, the follow up. Raising the roof right there is Jun Ding with that back one. 37 seconds left on the clock. And lucky Chloe out of disadvantage, raising the roof again. Here we go, goes for the mix up. 
30 seconds left on the clock. Buck with a wall splat from John Ding is in dire trouble here, folks. Oh! And it has to be a hop kick. What a control from Buck. Here we go. One more. He can do it. Oh, he can go either way. Again! No. That is the second time we've seen that series low parry back and forth, and Book staying alive. Great reflexes, of course. Great presence of mind. John Ding has to be hitting himself for that one. I think game plan wise, the, the plan here, uh, ladies and gentlemen, of John Ding is to go fundamental as well, you know, with, with Lucky Chloe. He knows that it has there's a huge poke advantage here from Lucky Chloe. And there it is. Uh oh, nice. Here comes Book. Nice. We have him in the corner. What's John Ding gonna do? Here we go, nice push to the wall here by Book. 35 seconds on the clock. This is plenty of time for Book to catch up on. Oh, but a little too short of the wall. Standing four. And Junting with the proper conversion off of the side gets round number three. Potential set point right here for John Ding, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, what a catch from Book, but fails to maximize the combo. Yeah, not able to get it, but still has a chance. This time getting the hook miss. That is gonna push towards the wall. Gonna do some extra damage here. Laser Geyser, the follow up goes for the Demon Ball. Oh, and the God Kick connecting flash flood on John Ding's Lucky Chloe. Here we go. What's the run up, Oki? Very smart choice here for Book. Just taking his sweet time, and we're going to a final, final round. Ladies and gentlemen. What a way to start off the tournament. Both of these players going back and forth. Now to this final round. Wow, a side oh step. My gosh. Down forward two series, has him at the wall. What's the mix? Go nice, another stature kick here from Book. Oh, a heavy, heavy LLRK there from Book. Just went all in, and John Dick capitalizing on that. All red here for Book. Markman, what is gonna happen? He's gonna have to be careful because oh! can do it. There it is. John Dink secures a spot in our winners' finals. We will see him a little bit later today. Book now going to the losers' bracket. This is gonna be crazy. John Dink, gotta give it up.